Oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here on a beautiful lake called North Twin Lake on the Colville Reservation. We caught a great day. There's some fantastic fish in here. Stick around. I think it'll be a great show. We slid our boats in North Twin Lake and soon we were off and running. <laughs> oh, there's one. I was trolling at a slow speed and all of a sudden my rod just went and I had a big fish on. All right, there we go. Awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is a big jumping fish. It's big. Holy. I wasn't expecting that. Holy smokes. It is a jumper. And it's gone. What? Oh, that was such a big fish. Beautiful jumping fish. And it just got off. Oh, darn. I was out in deeper water trolling a small carry special, but I saw Steve was just knocking them dead on chronomids, so I headed that way. I switched from trolling a fly to anchoring up, put a blood worm under a strike indicator, and I started getting fish. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's, that's three. Now if I can just land one of these babies. It's not a big fish, but. It's nice, it's cool when they hit like that. Now Aladdin had a really big fish on, and this is probably about a 14 inch or so. All right, I think he's ready. Tell you what, I love being able to stand up in these boats. Come on, fish. All right, I got him. Yeah, a nice little maybe 10, maybe a 12 incher at the most. There he goes. Yeah, pretty cool. That's the third fish I've hooked with this setup. Finally landed one. So the setup I'm using is just a, a blood worm hanging about six feet under a strike indicator. And uh, it's been working. Usually I put these things more on the bottom. These fish are up in the water column, so I'm just dangling it about six feet under. And that's three fish that have hit in the last 20 minutes. Oh, there's one. All right. Oh, well, that's a good fish. It I is think. a good one. That's bigger than the last one. Yeah, it cut. is. That's a gorgeous fish. Wow, I can see it. It's right in the middle of us, too. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just about five or six feet under a strike indicator. And the wind picked up, so it's giving the, the blood worm a little bit of action. I think that's helping. Mm -hmm. Wow. Fish jumping out there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's beauty. a nice fat fish. Wow. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. He tried to jump out of the net. That was awesome. Nice Chunky. fish. Boy, that's a fat trout. It's probably four, 15 inches, maybe. Donkey. Good job. Awesome. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Were well, you going to try the same tactic here? I Switch over? I think I'd be a fool not to. Yeah, it's been working <laughs> pretty good. So. Yeah. So it's about, if you, you can see how far underneath strike indicator. I'm not sure that's ideal, but it's been working pretty good. Yeah. Looks Maybe five feet or so. Okay, I'll try that. And uh, just hooked him right out there. Mm-hmm. There's a oh, jumper. Darn it. Had a hit? Yeah. On the regular? Yeah, on the man. black pupa. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Yep. There's the fish. Chronomid fishing is a lot of fun. You see your indicator go down, and yeah, it's a nice one. It's a gorgeous area here up at Twin Lakes. Beautiful scenery. Yeah, it is. A lot of fish in this lake, too. Yep. All 
All right. All right. Beautiful rainbow. Yeah, they're a nice looking fish, aren't they? Mm-hmm. What is it, about 12 maybe? Yep. Gorgeous, beautiful rainbow. All right, it's always good to get that first fish in the boat. Yeah, you had that big one and lost it. Yeah. Now you got one in. Yes. I can always catch the 12 inches, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yep. The big ones always get away, especially obviously for me. But yeah, you know, well, like... there's always, there's a little mystique in that too, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get some yeah, more. Let's get some more. We weren't the only ones fishing today. Huh, awesome. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Oh boy, it's deep, this is a better fish. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a better cool. fish. Cool. Better fish. Yeah, I might have to switch back to that fly. Awesome. Oh boy. Ooh yeah, he's taking some line. Mm-hmm. Taking line. Yeah, oh, a, that's a good yeah, fish. Yeah, it's a gorgeous fish. And I think it's similar to that one you caught earlier. Cool. About that size. It's a hard fighter. Uh-oh. He's getting over my anchor. Yeah, he's kind of... He's pulling you. He is pulling me. Wow. <laughs> That's a good one. Hmm. Oh, yeah, nice fish. Yeah, it is. Really nice. Fish. Mm. Boy, it's going around the boat mm -hmm. every which way. Get him in there. Ah. <laughs> That's a bummer. Yeah. Thought I had him close. There he is. Oh, nice. Woo. Whoa, trout. boy. That's an incredible fish right here. Beauty, yeah. just an absolute beauty. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good couple three pounds. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a gorgeous. That's a gorgeous rainbow right here. Man, you can just see the beautiful colors on these guys. There she goes swimming off. Oh man, I'm loving this day. It's a beautiful day. It's nice and overcast, real fishy day. Catching some great fish. A lot of fun. All right, what do you think, lad? Should we head to a new spot? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh boy. There we go. Nice. Got one. Got one. Oh boy. It's a good one too, guys. Oh yeah, it looks big. Yep, it's a big fish. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I continued to strip my line, but the fish was holding strong. Man. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, I've seen it. It's a good, it's not bad. I mean, it's not as big as I thought it was originally, but man, I'm telling you, he can't tell him that. Yeah, good fighter, huh? Uh-huh. Whoa, there he goes again. <laughs> Telling you, these fish got lots of spunk. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It's a big brookie. Oh, all right. Yeah, it is a. a <laughs> it's a large brookie. Oh yeah, man, a lot. Wait till you see. Boy, it's a large, a very large size brook trout. It's gorgeous colored. Right there, beautiful fish. Man, they put up a heck of a fight. I thought it was a rainbow the whole time. It's just a beautiful brook trout. Uh, wasn't really sure they were in here. I think Steve mentioned earlier, but I kind of forgot about that. But that was a nice fish. This is a green carry special that our cameraman Clint tied up, and it's a, it's a chartreuse fly. I've had a, several strikes on it, lost a big fish on it, finally landed that nice brookie. The 
tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Guides can be an awful lot of fun. You know, I've been in the industry now almost 20 years. Uh, I've been fishing for 25 myself, and I still take guided trips. Uh, what you're paying for in a guide is uh, really good information uh, to where if I go somewhere in Montana I've never been before, uh, I book a trip the first day, and then I'm dialed in for the next five or six days. So as, as much as you're paying for somebody to row the boat, make your lunch, uh, untangle your stuff when you get fouled up. Uh, guide trips are a very good source of information. A couple rules that you want to live by, be honest with your guides uh, on your experience level. Uh, that way we can uh, have a little bit of an idea of what we want to work on you, uh, throughout the day with you. Book your trips as far in advance as humanly possible. Sometimes we're able to, to arrange a short notice trip. Uh, other times these guys are booked for years out. And uh, it, is, it is customary to, to tip your guide. Uh, tipping is not a city in China. Uh, but a lot of folks don't know that, but it's, uh, it's really important for those guys. Uh, helps them pay for their gas, uh, helps them uh, replenish maybe some of the flies that you've lost throughout the course of the day. And uh, the reality is that these guys don't make a whole lot of money. So uh, gratuity is something that is customary. Um, and if you have any questions, always feel free to, to call us at the shop. We'll, we'll help you through booking a trip. Hey, Pat, did Ladin hear that tip about tipping? No, I didn't hear that, well, no. I think before we go next time, he should see this clip. Okay. He brought lunch, but no cash. Stiff, stiffed again. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Yeah, I was just stripping. I, I'd strip pretty good and then let the fly float back up, strip pretty good. About the third time this fish hit. Nice rainbow, good fat one. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It's the first time I've tried this fly. Um, got it up in Canada. I know Clint's tied a few up too. It's uh, called a booby and uh, it, it floats, so you, you strip it pretty good, and then uh, you let it float back up, and you strip it pretty good, and let it float back up, and that's the way it works. So. Nice fat fish here. <laughs> it's ready to go back in the water. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I'll have to show you this fly. These things float. So the sinking line takes the fly down and uh, then you strip a little bit and then the fly floats back up. You strip some more and the fly floats back up. And that's when that fish hit, was when it was floating back up. Pretty cool. I'm casting out about a 15 foot sink tip line and I'm just letting it sit near the bottom of the lake and then stripping it back rather quickly. Uh, we tried for quite a while using dry flies and their fish rising everywhere but we just weren't having any luck so we went back deep and that's uh, been the effective thing we've been doing today. Now, I'm gonna go in shallow Aladdin. Okay yeah just, go for it. Just give it a try. My fit, okay never mind. <laughs> What, what did you catch it on? The back to that uh, same blood worm we caught him on this morning. Wow. Yeah. It's really nice right now. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. But yeah, it's pulling nicely. Boy, he gave me lots of opportunity too. That strike indicator was down for a few seconds before I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a while, definitely a long time between fish. So. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a nice trout. Ooh, boy. Oh boy, that's a big fish. Good job, Steve. <laughs> awesome. Boy, this is a hog. This is probably a four or five pound fish. Probably didn't get a chance to see him even, but darn it. He snuck out the side of the net. <laughs> but that was a big fish. I think we got some good shots in the water. 
And it, I mean, there's just fish rising all around us. And finally we hooked one on the bloodworm. The Colville tribe does a great job of keeping this an excellent fishery at North Twin Lake. They stock nice rainbows and brook trout in here. Oh, got another hit. Wow, this is a big one too. Wow, that's awesome, Steve. Well, that's kind of interesting. We started off in the morning with the blood worms, and now yeah. in the evening they're, they're back. Yeah, they're starting picking up again. Yeah, that's so great. I've tried these earlier in the day, too, and didn't, didn't get any luck with them. I mean, in the middle of the day. Yeah. yeah. I gave up there. Right at the end. Yeah. There he is. Nice fish. That one's not as big as the last one I caught, and that's a nice trout. Awesome. Yeah. Two fish in a row on the blood worm, about five feet under a strike indicator. Hopefully I can do, get, do that some more. That's fun stuff. <laughs> All right. I'm using a nine foot fly rod, five weight, dry line, strike indicator. Got a little thingamabobber there, and about six feet under that. I've got this uh, blood worm with a bright orange head to it, and that's caught the last two trout. Coming from Spokane, the fastest way is to come up to the Gifford Ferry. It was pretty cool crossing the river there too. Ooh, there's one over there. Oh man, wow. And that one, I was, I was actually moving it, pulling it up a little bit when it hit. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Got a jump. That was a big jump. <laughs> yeah, cool. Wow, good fighting fish. Really good fighting fish. All right. Awesome. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, it's evening time. The fish are starting to bite again. Last couple hours before dark. We're getting fish. You know, one thing I love about fly fishing is the relaxing nature of it. I mean, you could just unwind. All your cares go away. Ah, it's just, it's a great sport. That's why it's known as a quiet sport. Evening was approaching and I was admiring a beautiful sunset. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Feels like a pretty good fish. Good. Whoa. She's running. Dang it, it's big. Big fish. Wow. Oh. <sighs> I brought the trophy fish closer. Ah, every time I get it close, it makes a dive. It's right under the boat. Right, oh my gosh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh we had a great time here at Twin Lakes, North Twin Lake Colville Reservation. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please join us next week for more fishing with Latin. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad. Because we're having fun catching fish. Hey folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.